<laughs> and then you gotta do a little shout out for good hits, though. Shout out for good hits. No, uh, no, come on, dude. Give me something good. Give me something good. Shouts out Chief Keef. <laughs> Shouts out Chief Keef Sosa. Almighty So. Hell Gang. Is. GBE. <laughs> Death Proof. What's up, gang? We're in one of my favorite neighborhoods in New York City. We're in Borum Hill. This is where I come to relax, reflect, and think about my life. And today we're talking about an introspective artist, the artist from across the pond, the death proof artist, Summer Alone. We're talking about all of his hit singles, Heaven Interlude, Transylvania Slut, Maybach, and more, and also the tour, his next projects, everything. One of my favorite artists. So sit back, relax, and stay tuned for Good Hits TV, episode four, one. Volume 9. Salute. Transylvania Up all night but in the morning I ain't getting up Fuck me slowing up the sex Can we do some drugs? Ooh, what's up good? It's gang. You know we're about we're bleeding the block for the best underground rap from New York City and beyond. And we got a little LA in the house. We got Summer Alone in the fucking crib. We're coming live out of Williamsburg, Brooklyn. You know the vibes. Summer, let's start out simple. Let's start how we do every interview. Dude, how is your fucking day going, dog? You're out of towner, dude. You're OT. <laughs> You're coming into New York City a few days ago. Yeah. You enjoying it? Like, what, what are your thoughts on New York? Other than it being ridiculously expensive, the rent spikes, everything. Oh, yeah. You're coming in from LA. LA versus New York. What are um, we th What are our thoughts? I think originally, <laughs> I mean, I stayed in London for a bit because I'm originally from London. Right. I'd say I prefer New York more than London, but like you said, it's expensive. <laughs> yes. And I'm pulling up during a heat wave as well. Horrible. <sighs> Horrible. I was not you. Do you like, think New York is more expensive than London? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Dead ass. Damn, dude. London's taxes, mad expensive. I feel bro. like the tax thing that you guys have, that fucked up. Like, tremendously. Like, I don't know what happened. Like, it did fuck up, like, yeah. our country, too. But, like, I feel like because living's expensive in New York, which I always knew, that fucked it up heavy. Because there's a lot of people in New yep. York, bro. There's a yep. bunch of people. So Absolutely. That, so Absolutely. Like, yeah. Do you think you would ever move to New York? I was telling Mozzie he needs to move out here. And that Death Proof needs, like, a New York City chapter. Low that key, would be legendary, Low key, dude. I feel like we need to... I mean, it's up to them, to be honest. Because I don't mind being in L.A. Yeah. Or because I can just come back here when I feel like it. But it's like... I feel like when we're in New York, we're happier. Because there's a choice of weather, you know? LA is hot 24-7. Interesting. Interesting. And it's like, when it rains, it's not nice rain, it's just rain. But, like, when you get to New York, it's like, you could go into it. It could be snowing. It could be hot. Well, London's, yeah. like, gray and kind of rainy all the time. So, so out of the three, you would say it's New York, LA, London. Actually, recently <laughs> in London, it was mad hot <laughs> for no reason. When I was there... It was disgustingly hot. Yes. And a lot of houses in London don't have AC installed. Yes. Yes. And it was a big fuck up. There's just like loads of people copping fans and shit. And they like, didn't think of global warming <laughs> in, the, <laughs> in the early years when they constructed these things. They did not realize how hot it was going to get. No, dead ass, bro. You need to think about this shit, but. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not there no more because it was very stressful. But now I'm in New York and I'm Hell happy. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hundred percent. Fuck yeah, dude. Originally from London, and it's like, do you think like you've developed a lot as an artist over the past year? You've gained a lot of new fans. Do you think some fans don't know you're from London? Yeah, <laughs> a, a lot. A like, lot don't even know I'm British. I'm not gonna lie to you because I will be honest. I don't really sound that British in my music. Yeah, yeah, mainly yeah. being well, I heard some unreleased where you had like a totally yeah. different, almost like a UK drill style flow, and I'm like, yeah, bro, like that would slap so hard. Yeah, I need to drop that shit. I need to stop fucking around, but. especially <laughs> at one of these like LA underground shows where everyone's like trying to look cool. All of a sudden, you just bring out some Facts. like grimy LA Facts. UK drill. That'll be sick. That'll be sick as shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. But yeah, it's like a lot don't realize I'm from London. They're like, you from London? I'm like, yeah. And they're like. Then how did Death Proof know you? I'm like, internet exists. Wait, what part of what part of London? 
Um, originally, yeah. I'm from North slash Northwest. Like I was in North and Northwest London, Hell yeah. mainly. And then my mom relocated somewhere else. But yeah. What do you think of like OFB and like <laughs> oh, those Lord. groups? Who's I, OFB? I don't want to like. Who are they kind of beefing with? That Trap Lord Ross video put me on their music. Bus- it's none of my I business. I know, I know, I know, I know. Obviously, <laughs> obviously. I don't know. I don't know. That's them for this. <laughs> Listen, but all I know is, shouts out OFB. I love their music, bro. I want to so send. I wanna good. Make, I want to make beats for these guys, bro. I'd love to. Yes, dude. That music Zone slaps. Two, like all I love them of as those well. guys. Do you Amazing. think UK rap is becoming bigger internationally? I low feel like key, it kind of is. Low key, yeah. yeah. I feel like everyone's catching on now because, like, what's been happening is a lot of UK artists have been, like, collabing with US artists. Mm-hmm. Like, or... Oh, uh, yes. Like, I would, Drake is not an example because he's Canadian, but for Drake, fuck's sake. But Drake kind of pushed he, that UK sound a little bit in North did. America. He did. He made a song with Heady One. Yeah. And then when he made that song, I feel like a lot of people that weren't from the UK knew who Eddie One was and they were like, yo, this guy's cold. Yeah. And then they started to do their deep dives and shit. So I feel yeah, like UK's yeah, been... And then you yeah. got Lancey Foe as well. I yeah. fucking love his music. Lancey <laughs> Foe has been a new wave of UK music because it's like, it's Playback Hawaii-esque. It's got that sound, that super trap sound, that hyper trap sound. Right. But it's UK. and Which is huge right now. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful yeah. music. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah, dude. You should have seen um, Santan Dave or whatever. Oh, and Dave? He yeah. Was, he's awesome. And he was at Coachella and like mm-hmm. full stage, like full crowd there. I, I just I feel Dave. like the UK rap and drill scene, ever since Skepta, frankly, it's just be- Bro, begun to real, the like OG. grow and grow. <laughs> like then it was Stormzy and AJ Tracy. Yeah. And then like now it's like some of these guys are like household names now central c he's bigger than a ton of american pop stars i don't know how i have no idea how he's hugely viral on tiktok i know that's the thing that confused me because out of nowhere i just randomly found his music one day and i was like i like it and then so did everyone else and And his new song doja cat is just absolutely (laughs) that song's hilarious (laughs) when i heard the first bar i was like oh my god (laughs) I was like, it's built serious? for TikTok. No, it for real. It's so built for TikTok. Genius for that shit. And nowadays, with the TikTokification of like rap music, it's like that first minute of your song is so important. If mm-hmm. you have like a catchy bar, dude, it's immediately it's golden. How was kind of like the UK underground scene versus the US? And did it, that kind of influence your move to LA, or were you just like, fuck London, I just want to move to LA? <laughs> Did music both. maybe yeah, yeah yeah both it was like this it's like the UK underground scene I like some musicians in the UK underground scene like some slap but then it's like uh, I don't know what was going on but I feel like due to like a whole clout thing yeah or like a disagreement or somewhat and people not understanding how music business works and being a musician and then like doing things for your own career they didn't get it and then they feel some type of weight what it's long <laughs> i was like uh i don't like being around this energy you guys suck you guys don't support as much it took me like four or five days to get recognition so in there LA. was like rapper drama type shit or yeah. was it just like uk underground scene is full of so much drama and it <laughs> sucks because some of these musicians are so talented and it's like if you just stayed away from drama and focus on yourself you would realize you're such a good musician I did this shit. Yeah. And I realized, like, there's so much more than just being a UK artist. Are they, like, beefing American rap style where it's, like, heavy beef? Or is it, like, lame ass, like... They're both, <laughs> yeah. to be honest. Like, some people are with the shits and some yeah. people aren't, you know? But, like, okay, it's, yeah, it's just fair. beef, normal beef. But it's, just, it's, <laughs> it's draining. Rapper shit, rapper it's shit. stress, either way. <laughs> and I don't want to do all that shit, so I went somewhere else. And I realized where I'm appreciated somewhere else. I'm appreciated in a country I've never been to before. <laughs> you know, that's... Wait, so me. when you came to LA, that was your first time and in my the My first States. time ever leaving the country. And when was that? When was that? That was... August 2021. Okay. Yeah. Damn, dude. You just have to make your way in this new country and shit. That's kind of wild, bro. Yeah, I just left. <laughs> and I was like, what's crazy about that is the reason... Not even the reason. How I left was nuts. It's like... I had to, because I wasn't vaccinated, I had a quarantine in a country for 14 days before going to America. So I was in Mexico for 14 days, dude, 
And then I was in. Then well, I went could to, you leave the hotel room and shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you had to quarantine, stay in Mexico, fourteen days. And then I went to New York, <laughs> and that's, and then after New York, I went to LA, and I was like, America's lit. I was yeah. like, yo, I was like, I like it here. <laughs> I feel that, dude. It is. Wait, what are some? Just to tie the earlier point out, like, what are mm-hmm. some UK artists you could put good it's gang on? Like, who are you listening to? Uh, obviously Skepta, Lancifo, yeah. Pasalu. Or P.A. Salu, Pasalu probably. Pasalu yeah. is fire. I've been listening to Zone 2 recently, like specific artists in Zone 2. Uh, Finn Fox or... I got a whole list. Lord wait, Apex. <laughs> wait, so you're... A lot of these artists sound like more like grime, trap, and drill rappers. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, I listen to a so lot of So less of like the whole like trap metal like scene. Nah, I don't listen to that. I only <laughs> listen to like... UK, UK, I'm gonna smoke my spliff trap yeah. music. I enjoy it because it's There's like, some bigger underground names coming out of UK, like yeah. Scarlord, Bad oh, Lad. Well, yeah. Why did I not fucking mention those <laughs> names? I'm sorry, Bad Lad, yes. Yeah. I yeah. like Bad Lad's music. I listened to one of his songs like a while back because I never listened to it at mm-hmm. first because everyone kept saying his name. I was like, focus on my shit. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I was trying to pay no damn attention because I was trying to be fucking stupid yeah. and narcissistic. I was like, bad lad, who the fuck is that? <laughs> but then when I listened to it, I was like, this shit fucking slaps. So yeah, I was like, he's Yo, talented, man. This nigga he's talented. talented, bro. Keep yeah. doing what the fuck you doing. That shit's nuts. Yeah, there's some, there's some pretty good names out there. Dude, so t- walk me through. So you get to LA and uh-huh. do you already know the Death Proof guys? Or are you like, walk no. me through all that? Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> That was crazy, that one, actually. Who's the like, first person you met in this uh, collective, if you want to call it? Like, you Miyagi. can call it whatever. Miyagi. Miyagi and... <laughs> yeah, Miyagi. Yeah, oh, yeah, I think... How I ended up there was um my old manager, Nate. Shouts out, Nate. Still the homie. I met up with Nate in New York, and then from New York, we went to L.A. And when we got there, we checked how much money we had in our account. We didn't have enough for a hotel. And we are like, damn the fuck do we do <laughs> and then <laughs> we're, we're, nah. we're for real like the fuck do we do and then i was just like <laughs> y'all are living differently bro nah, that is something I, you gotta plan nah no but listen at least we did it like we're kids bro yeah I feel like that. the time we were, we're, i was That's 20 true. you know what i mean like we're 20 we're like fuck <laughs> it let's go to la ditch everyone and go the time we're like fuck but then i remembered i was like Miyagi messaged him. He sent me the Addy. We got an Uber. What's the crib? Met nah, Miyagi. That's huge. I did then, that. Yeah, and then I slept at the crib. And then I think I met Mazi in the morning. We made a song. I was like, <laughs> so you're already making music. Yes. This was you're already making music in London. Yeah, I was already doing that shit. It and was crazy. Did you? Did Miyagi know about you because of the music? Yeah, he found my um, music. I oh, think, okay. Oh, how he found my music was hilarious. Okay, <laughs> I was, I will be honest, I was a fan of NASCAR's music before I even, <laughs> I'll be I honest. I you are like, I'll be honest, I'll I was a honest. fan of my homie's music. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a huge admission. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I was a fan of NASCAR's music before, like, I even knew these guys. And then yeah. I think he had a snippet on his page and it sounded really like UK drum and bass. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This is sick. I was like, yo. And I think I saw Miyagi post it on his page. And then I swiped up the message. I was like, when is this dropping? And he's like, soon. And I was like, bro, I need this shit. This song sounds nuts. It's amazing. And then I think he followed me afterwards because I just kept on like supporting. And then I dropped a music video. And then I was just doing this thing, like as usual, like a musician that's trying to get more recognition, just sending the link to everyone in my DMs. Right, right. And then I saw Miyagi's name and I was like, I either send it to him and he ignores me <laughs> or he likes it. And I was like, bruh, I'd be an idiot if I didn't try. So I did it and I sent it. And then I think like a few hours later, he was like, this song's beautiful. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> and he's like, can we post it on our Death Proof page for like Sunday's um, staff pick? And I was like, yeah. yeah yeah and then i think after that the rest the is Death history Proof youtube channel by the way is like should have way more subscribers it's oh, so definitely. underrated do you know what it is it's i realize so good i realize a lot of people just watch the channel without even subscribing i yeah. feel like we need to i don't know i'll, I'll talk to the homies about it yeah, we can talk about that later in this <laughs> interview because i feel like yeah and we talked about this like earlier but i feel like 
Death Proof as a collective should have way more follows. Oh, no, 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 like, no. Look at me when I say it's this. It's top tier, and it's like, why? I never look at me when I say this. I have a very, <laughs> very, very, very good feeling. The next two months, something nuts will happen. Dude.